Hi guys and welcome to this PowerPoint quick tip where I am going to show you how to save or export a single or multiple PowerPoint slides either as a picture, so as a PNG or JPEG file or as a classic PDF. So let's say we have this PowerPoint presentation from which we want to extract selected pages. By the way, this presentation is about creating a professional PowerPoint slide design. So if you want to know how you can easily create a stunning PowerPoint deck, check out the video that I link in the info box and the info card in the upper right corner. So first, let's say we want to save slide number nine as a picture either in PNG or JPEG format. The first alternative to save the slide in either of those two formats is by going via the menu. So click on the file tab, move down to save as, choose the file type, so in our case a JPEG format, rename the slide if you want to, choose the file location if you want to browse on your laptop or a computer and press save. Then PowerPoint asks you whether you want to save all of the slides or just the one that you've chosen. And this is also what we want to do. So choose this one. So if we check now on the desktop, we see that our one single slide that we've chosen is saved as a JPEG as we want it. Perfect. So instead of going via the menu bar, you can also save via two shortcuts. Either use Control Shift S where this pop-up opens or alternatively you can use F12. Again, the same pop-up opens. So basically it's the exact same mask that opens when going via the menu. In this case now let's choose the PNG format, rename the file and click save. Again PowerPoint asks if you want to save all of the slides or just this one. And this is also the downside when saving selected pictures. So you can either save all of the slides or just one. However, if you want to save multiple slides, so for example slides 9 to 12, I recommend just saving all of them and once they are saved you can choose the ones you need and delete the other ones. So let's try this one and I can show you what I mean by that. So let's say we want to save all of the slides as a PNG. So it might take a second and here at the bottom you can see that PowerPoint is processing your slides and as this prompt indicates now there's a separate folder created in which all of the single png files are located so here we go our file location shows the folder and if we open it you can see each and every slide that's now saved as a png now if we want to save this slide as a pdf again there are several options let's go to the file tab go to save as and choose pdf as a file format if you want to save the entire presentation, you can just click save and it's done. Yet, if you only want to save a single or a selected files, you need to click on more options where this pop-up opens. And again, you need to go down here and click on options where this mini pop-up opens up. And this is basically the core to saving a PowerPoint as a PDF. Because in this pop-up you can define which slides and in which format you want to save them. So again you can change if you want to save all of the slides, if you only want to save the current slides, if you want to save multiple slides and in which formats and so on. So let's say we want to save slides 9 to 12, click OK. And if you click save, now these selected slides are saved as a PDF. So going back to this view, you might have already guessed, you can also get to this exact same pop-up a bit faster and with less clicks. So if we're going back to our slide, again we're going to use our two shortcuts. Either click Ctrl, Shift and S by opening up the pop-up or just click F12. And here again you can choose your file type, so if we're going to choose PDF, we can choose our options and then you can define which slides you want to save and which not. So that's it for today's PowerPoint quick tip, which you hopefully enjoyed. If yes, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which other issues or questions you might have with PowerPoint. Don't forget to subscribe such that you don't miss further PowerPoint tutorials that will definitely simplify your life.